get let's get straight into it, man. You guys, well, let's talk about some of the well, one of the reasons why the hex price has been dumping. Do you see the hex price dumped to, to ten cents? Actually, I had a quite a few of my students actually picked them up at nine cents. So shout out to you guys once again. I was on the phone and uh, missed the opportunity personally, but um, oh, thank you, Paula D. That's wonderful. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so basically, there's been some drama going on in the Hex community with um, Rackham from Overwatch Partners and everything like that. Um, so basically, what's been going on is that Rackham for Overwatch Partners. He's a if you get, for you guys who don't know, he's a very big whale. Um, I would I don't know if he's the biggest, but he's he's basically top three whales in the Hex ecosystem. And uh, the dude's already rich already. Um, the dude's already rich already before he got into Hex, but uh, invested into Hex has quite a lot of it and he's been getting connections and stuff like that with um, to Richard and basically um, I guess some of these connections are um, con very conservative types basically <laughs> and um, th these conservative types I guess didn't like it when Richard was talking about like this is how big my PP is my PP is 6.2 and or whatever the fuck he was saying about his dick <laughs> Which, you know, I found it pretty funny personally, but I guess some of these comments conservative types were like, list, like I, supposedly listening on with their children in the room or something like that. I don't know why you would listen to Richard Hart in your room with your kids, because like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and on top of that, supposedly on in some of these, um, I mean, he put this all public out on Twitter and stuff like that. I mean, personally, I have no ill will towards, you know, either gentleman. But um, I guess Rackham was pretty much saying that, you know, he was talking to he got people to sacrifice for Pulse Chain that were from like Saudi oil money. So I was like, that's news to me. Saudi oil money? We talking about oil? We talking about oil? Shit. I, I, didn't, I was like, what? I was like, wow. So, um, <laughs> I look better in 369. Yeah, I do. All right. But um, so I was just really shocked by that. I was like, whoa. So so some people, I guess it's possible that some of those that some people dumping either it's it could be Rackham. I'm not saying it is or it's maybe some of the affiliate with some of the people who Rackham essentially was able to get into Hex possibly. So. You know, either way, it is what it is what it is. Um, Richard ain't going to change for nobody. I mean, it just I mean, you know, if he doesn't like somebody, he doesn't like somebody. That's how that's what he is. But, you know, the, the but this is the interesting thing is that um, even though Hex Hex is supposed to be just Hex itself. But what Rackham did is also something what I did is when I invested into Pulse Chain and Hex, I invested into Richard Hart. Well, I true I understand how Richard is. So I'm not surprised by any of this shit. But I don't know why he would be surprised. I mean, it took even even for me, like I think back in the day, like personally, just spill some tea here. I tried to get um, I actually tried to get um, Celsius and Rick, I tried to get Alex Machinsky and Richard to talk and stuff like that. And then uh, they torpedoed that. I mean, I think I think it was on the, I think it was on the Richard side. They torpedoed that shit down real quick. So, um, you know, you know, you try to make your connections and you just try to help out. But sometimes just some personalities don't match. And it just is what it is, you know. Um, but yeah, man, I ain't dodging shit today, man. Let's get, well, I don't dodge anything at all, but let, let's, uh, but that's pretty much what's going on right there. I think it's a good opportunity to get some cheap hex right now. DCA, don't waste the whole stack, you know, but if you don't have any, like what the fuck are you doing? Like, seriously, like it's around, like the, you know, the, um, the snapshots around the corner and, um, you know, the announcement. So we were going to have a big hex live stream with Richard Hart and his channel on, I think in two days, in two days around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is about 40-ish minutes from this time, basically, is when it's going to start. And it's going to be with the director of the, the Heist of Stakes movie that they're producing right now for uh, that. And um, there might be some alpha leaks in there of, of when um, – yeah, there's going to be some alpha leaks basically of when – um, you know, everything's going to be launching out and stuff like that. So hopefully that, if not, then, then basically it's going to go back to the, my, I mean, my, my original um, kind of estimation of when the snapshots more than likely going to be is probably the last week of this month. I personally think it's the 25th, May, uh, May 25th. And um, after a couple of days after it's over, you know, prices go down for a bit. And then from there, we're going to get the, the actual soft launch of Pulse Chain and then the real launch with the bridge and everything else intact and trading and stuff on Pulse X and stuff. So that's kind of the timeline. So I'm still I'm still in. I think the timeline is really Pulse Chain comes out in June, not May. 
but the snapshot and a lot of that stuff happens in May. But if it does happen in May, shit, I'll take it. Fuck, the sooner the fucking better, man. I've been waiting since last summer. You know, I've sacrificed with Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Mintra, Liquid Loans, a bunch of shit. And I'm, let's get this shit started. Let's get it. 